my vlog channel. I don't actually know where we're at with Vlogmas. For me, I feel like we should be day eight by now, but I already know that there's like five vlogs on my channel. I've missed a few days, and I don't know if to, when I miss the days, I don't know if to call it like the day of the date. Like say Vlogmas, the first Vlogmas went up on Vlogmas second. Oh no, never mind, that still wouldn't work anyway. Good morning everyone, today is in fact, what day is it? I think it's the 8th today, yeah today is Wednesday the 8th of December. As you can see I'm starting this vlog in my car, I'm currently half past 8 in the morning, I'm currently driving back from Brewster's house, I stayed there last night. I vlogged yesterday but like, I don't even know how to describe how I felt yesterday. Do you know when you wake up and you're just having one of those days where you just want to lay in bed all day, feel sorry for yourself and do nothing? I feel like I'm just really overdue like an emotional release. I feel like I'm really overdue a massive cry for no reason. I feel like I'm overdue sitting on my bedroom floor listening to fucking Kelly Clarkson. I feel like it's just really overdue and I know that sounds like the gayest, most dramatic thing in the world, but I feel like I'm due a cry. I even woke up this morning and I still feel a bit tender. I feel like I'm the most, I don't really know much about star signs, but I always see things like about emotionally driven Virgos and I'm a Virgo and I feel like I am extremely emotionally driven. And I feel like I'm having a little bout of emotions right now. If you see me cry today, just pretend that never happened. I'm not even like sad about anything. I have nothing in my life to be sad about. I'm absolutely beyond grateful for everyone and everything in my life currently. So I don't have any reason to be sad. And I'm not sad. I could cry right now. I could literally cry. I feel like... I don't know, babe, something's going on inside me. Oh, I've made it without actually um, causing any collisions. I'm back home now, as you can see. Um, I put Harry Potter on just because it's nine o'clock and last night me and Lewis were laid in bed and both again fell asleep during the Half-Blood Prince. We get to a similar point every single time and then fall asleep. So I just asked him if I can watch the end. I said, asked him if I can watch the end. We had a binding mental contract that said, you will not get further into the franchise without me. Same with Drag Race. So I'm just, I wanted to double check that you were all right with me watching the ending. Um, so I'm gonna watch the end of Harry Potter now. Make myself some breakfast, make myself a cup of tea. It's literally just gone nine. I love days when I stay at Lewis's house because if I stay at Lewis's and he goes to work from mine, I just fall asleep again. But if I'm staying at his, I have to be up. Well, I don't have to be up and out. I could stay at his as long as I want to. But I like to be up and out at the same time as him, come back home and then start my day. And I'm like wide awake, then I won't actually go back to sleep. So I wanna make my breakfast, have Harry Potter on. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Do I nice little Easy wake up. Need to open my advent calendar as well, actually. Do in fact already know what's in it, and it is in fact a butt plug with a sparkly gem on the end. Don't know if I'll ever be using that, but it's one for the collection, one for the kids. I mean, what to tell the kids about is what I meant, as in like my own children. Never mind. That saying in that context with the circumstance is probably not the greatest thing to say online. Or just in general at all. I'm not a paedophile and I feel like it makes me sound like one. Anyway, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and I'm going to watch Harry Potter. And then I'm going to start my day. It's so gloomy and horrible. I hate it. <laughs> Bless me. Uh, not me watching Harry Potter again, but this time with Freya Mathers while she works. Should we leak some amount of stuff? <laughs> Come on, Queen, don't be shy. Byron, don't no. be shy. You can't be leaking this. This is data. This, this is data. Watch that bloody cup of tea on my sofa later. Yeah. Right, everyone, Freya's come over to my house. And we're going to go shopping in a little while. We're just waiting for Anna to finish up doing what she's doing. And then we're going to go to Asda. We're going to go to B&M. Freya actually wants to get a Christmas tree. So we're gonna have a little festive moves round. I need to get some food in. I had a jacket potato for my breakfast. <laughs> I have nothing else in. I don't even have any bread to make toast. I went to make beans on toast. Didn't have any toast, so I had to have a jacket potato and beans. It was 11, like, lunchtime, so it's not too bad. Currently now, just sat on my floor, detangling necklaces. And I don't really know why, but that's what's happening currently. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, 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 ew. Right, everyone, so me and Freya have decided we're not going to wait around for everyone anymore. We're actually going to come and try and find her a Christmas tree. Basically, she did order one. What happened, girl? It got robbed. Someone stole it from the post room. So we're trying to find one. We looked in, um, we've just been in B, is it B&M? Home Morgans. And now we're just going to have a little look in TK Maxx. Apparently there's one in Argos, but we don't want to venture out too far. So we're just going to have a little look in here and hope we find something. Boo. 
Oh. oh, look at that one. Get that. Big pineapple. Oh, Get that and hang some baubles. Baubles. Get that and hang some baubles on it. Yeah. This is what I want for Christmas. Oh, what would you call it? Um, I'd have that one. I'd call it suede. Look at this one though. This is so cute. Yeah. Oh, um, baby. I think I'd Penelope is such a cute name actually. I like that one. That would be Suede and Penelope. Right, success. We've made it to Sainsbury's. Fry's found a bloody tree in Sainsbury's. We're now going to get a little meal deal. Ooh, I would absolutely love some sushi. I'm going to get some sushi and then go. Sorry about this angle, girls. Just getting my sushi. Going to get some sushi and go back to Fry's house, put up the Christmas tree, and then um, go shopping in a little while. Laddie, get in my stomach. I'm starving. Stop. Hi, girls. Hi girls, it's Uber for Freya. Yeah, actually. Can you please wear a mask in the Uber, please? I'm really sorry I can't. She's exempt. I'm exempt. Bad bitches only. Bad bitches do um, like that. Guys, you know what? That actually was seeming like it was going to be a big fat fucking fail. A big fat to It did seem like it was going to be a big fat fail. A bloody Christmas miracle if we'd have found a tree. And, and guess we found what? it. We found it. Sainsbury's should have gone there we first. Didn't, yeah, why did we not think Sainsbury's? I don't know why. No, why? Habitat it's habitat. Is gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous habitat. habitat. Yeah, literally, I ended up going to Sainsbury's. We went to BM. We I don't know why we went to Panland. We went to Panland. That was very Do you know silly what? Us, but we, it we tried. Had TK, TK Maxx. No. Nothing. So, yeah. you know what, girls? Everything does, in fact, happen for, for a reason. reason. We went on our Christmas way. Christmas is actually. And happening you wait for year. that little tree decorated montage that I know is about to happen. Mm -hmm. Boris Johnson's just invited us to his Christmas party. <laughs> And we've said Boris, year. love, listen. We say Boris, love, listen. If we couldn't have it last year, we don't want, we don't it, want this it this year, year either. All right. I know you're a bit on that sniffy sniff, eh? <laughs> Mister. Buddy, we know what you're playing at. Where do you want? You'll be lucky, love you. Where are your photos? Why are you taking off your. Mm -hmm. Passport gone, Queen. Passport oh my god, look gone. how big my ear looks. How are you going to vote, big balls? Look at us in workshop with our elves. Santa, if you're watching and you're looking for some new work. UV, I've stolen Santa's jumper. <laughs> then that is no way. We're always looking for a bit of work. Part time work always. experience. Always. In Grotto. I'd love to learn how to make a wooden toy soldier. Clean. Make a life size one for myself. Maybe oh. that's my boyfriend this year. Whee. I love it for Christmas is you, Santa. Anna literally is such a bullshit liar. She just texted me saying, babe, there's absolutely no traffic. Oh, it's very weird out with that, <laughs> isn't it? Right, we're back at Freya's Nativity is on. The sushi has been a uh, Freya's setting up her um, little Christmas tree. It's so cute. Look at this little top. We're watching Nativity, getting festive. Freya's got a lovely little meal deal. I should have got another sandwich actually because I'm quite hungry. Oh, the baubles are cute. Very fitting for the apartment deco, Freya. The pink, green, and blue. Yeah, blue. matches and the flowers and stuff as well. Gorge. Gorge, gorge, gorge. I'll keep you updated with the progress of the tree. But Princess Di is currently just putting it together. It was quite big that boys. actually. Put it? It's quite big actually. Yeah. 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 Hello! <laughs> right, Friday's Christmas tree. Friday's Christmas tree is uh, all decorated. Just don't look at the back of it. Oh, She's a work is... in progress. She's a work in progress. I'm going to get more <laughs> I've done a full food shop and then realised I'm actually going home this weekend. So I don't really know why I've got as much as I have. Because quite frankly I'm going to have to take it back to Sheffield with me. Because I'm not going to eat it in time my lad. So I've got three days to eat a full food shop. Do you know what I mean? Being very very silly. As you can see everyone I'm back home now. We did a massive food shop. I feel like whenever we go to Asda it takes us absolutely hours that like I would genuinely say we were in as a like two hours but I actually picked up a Christmas candle I was gonna show you what I got from my food shop and I thought that's very boring that being said however did anyone else used to watch Zoe uh, literally do a haul of every single thing she got from the shop whenever she went and I fucking love that shit I remember not even being old enough to buy my own food and I'm like I didn't have my own house to live with my mom but my mom probably didn't care what Zoe were getting in her food shop but I would always be like hmm, when I'm older I'm gonna buy that stuff that's for me that's going to my basket anyway I actually picked up if you watched a vlog that I posted a couple days ago I actually was in TK Maxx looking at Christmas candles and I couldn't find any that smelled Christmas here. I've had a real kick. I don't know if you saw at the beginning of this video every morning because it's gloomy and dark outside. I like to wake up, turn my Christmas tree on, light all my candles and my candle has actually just finished. I burnt it to the full wick. My friend Megan got me a candle for my birthday and I've literally burnt it all. So I'm in need of a new candle. So I picked up two actually from Yankee Candle. I got them from Asda. Two Christmassy ones which I didn't think I'd do but I feel like these scents I would smell or like enjoy all year round and I think they'll also merge nicely together but like I hate when you go into someone's house and there's like two opposing scents like trying to fight each other but I feel like these will be like 
harmonious and like work nicely together. I've got a candy cane forest little moment. It smells so nice. I love the smell of mint. I love mint in like hot chocolates. I love mint in coffees. I love the taste of mint. Like even in cocktails and stuff, I love it. Love the smell of it as well. So I've got a mint candy cane one. And then I also got this one, which is a glistening Christmas Noel Brilliant. Don't know who the fuck names these candles. They've just said like get every Christmassy word you can ever think of and throw it in a title and we'll just put it on. But that smells. Oh. Did just try and let you smell it. That's embarrassing. Ding dong. Hi guys. What's going Ding on? Ding dong. What do you want to say to Joe Byron right now? Ding dong. <laughs> fuck your life, Beans. Right, Jesus so Christ, in my Byron. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Them strawberries look incredible. Wow. Extra fruit as well. Oh. I think it's cookies and cream. Oh, that's why I. That's why I know it's in the bueno. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. That's wow. insane. You're free to check again. You're free. Okay. I'm wondering what it's that dark. Why has everyone got forks and I have a spoon? <laughs> How am I meant to get a banana? How am I meant to get a banana? I'm getting a cool. Yeah. No, you like snaps. Oh, okay. <laughs> she was like, oh god, yeah. I'm not popular tonight. <laughs> it's the same group chat though. So yeah. it's like. <laughs> Spray's not in it. Spray's the only one that's What group chat is this that I'm not in? What group chat is this? <laughs> it's everyone but you. Can I know? Well, that's fucking rude, isn't it? You're work friends. That's what you've got to understand. <laughs> Just like, I was your roommate. Byron <laughs> really... actually said uh, two people you used to work with. When him and I have been best friends for a good solid year, maybe two years, <laughs> turned around to them and they said, I'll say you and Hal's best friends. He says, no, we're roommates. <laughs> in front of Hal's. <laughs> Why are you Really? Yeah. Well, you're really dark. Were you there? No. Hal's brings that up every time she because. gets a chance. Who's in this group chat, by the way, you rude cut? Someone oh, said no, it shows the people from Sipsy. Like Poppy Me, like Belle Fruity. Someone said to me, at work, how do you, you and Haz know each other? And I said, are we roommates? As she said, mm -hmm. best friends. Like we were both there. And Haz said, are we best friends? And I said, are we roommates? <laughs> at the same time. That's so bad. I didn't say, no, she's not my best friend. She's my roommate. <laughs> so don't try and make me look awful. <laughs> More awful than score your best friend or roommate. <laughs> This is a fun bit anyway. All the side fans eating. I'm gonna leave it all in. Get that table more. It's a bit of a mid ad, put two mid ads in. Uh. <laughs> can you add? You can add up. Don't tell okay. me you've not been adding ads. <sighs> Tear your lion. <laughs> I thought they just put them in the lion. You just gave me three. Are you joking? No, no, I promise. You can put them wherever you want and put as many as you want. Right. You, you, you could them. add like six out. Like you could add 20 hours in one video if you wanted. Video I everyone. was thinking that some people have loads. I just thought it was when you were having a channel for longer, like you get more ads. Oh. Tears <laughs> <laughs> away. Tears away to level up. <laughs> <laughs> Surely it's not that bad. Pickle juice. <laughs> if you put a straw in it, you've got a drink and snack in one. <laughs> <laughs> I need to leave. <laughs> okay, Gaston. You're looking like Gaston. <laughs> Oh, not me actually ended the vlog. Hi everyone, I'm back from Anna's now. As you can see, I'm in bed. It's currently half past 12 at night. I don't know how we ended up staying that long at Anna's. In fact, I do. We basically went over there, had like a really nice pulled pork and pancakes moment. Then we had some dessert and then we ended up watching Kingsman. Now, I don't really want to ramble on too much about my opinions of that film. I feel like brief synopsis, brief summary for those of you that have seen it. I think the beginning is really far-fetched and stupid and I was like, what the hell am I watching? The middle, I was kind of in, in the storyline. I kind of like wanted the guy to succeed for his mom and stuff and then the ending I was like oh very weird and unrealistic and everyone's head started exploding and I was just like you can tell this has been written by it, it felt as though it had been written by like a really horny teenage boy the ending as well really does solidify that but then some parts of it were kind of good you know what I mean I can't bash it I am gonna actually watch the second one and I know the third one's just come out so maybe my opinions will change the further into the franchise I actually go but like I said I'm currently in bed as you can see I hope you enjoyed this day of vlogmas I do apologize that they've been all over the place and not really consistent at all I feel like the days that I'm sat editing at my laptop all day are so unbelievably boring and I do nothing I don't even speak to anyone so you're not missing out on much I just feel like it'd just be 
uploading for the sake of uploading, which I don't want to do. I want to at least feel like that the vlog is something and something that I would watch and feel a little bit of like coziness from. But I hope you're all having a wonderful December. I hope you've all had a lovely day. I had a really nice day actually. It's been really nice and relaxing. I'm excited tomorrow to wake up and burn my candles. So if you want to see me do that, please do subscribe. But don't forget to turn on post notifications, all the rest of it. And I will see you in the morning with a brand new vlog, hopefully, if I do something. Potentially going to get my second vaccine tomorrow. So potentially might be you. Who knows? We shall see. Anyway, I love you all lots and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Please wear my retainer. That's just reminding me my teeth are moving.